Hello, Gemini. Welcome back. This is going to be your January 2022 reading. Happy New Year's, guys. I um, divided it into, you know, each week. So this first one is going to be the first. Then we have second, third, and fourth. Uh, yeah, fourth. So let's just see what's going to happen for you guys, uh, what you guys can be expecting for your January 2022. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's see what is going on, Gemini. I hope you guys are doing well and ready and prepared for this new year. Okay, I'm on a Taurus Gemini cusp, so I'm excited to see what you guys have because it might be relevant to me because I'm right there. My birthday is May 20th, so I'm literally right there. Gemini is like the next day. <laughs> so let's see, guys. So for the first week we have, I'm just shuffling these cards to get ready to pull some tarot on them. So for the first week we have Perseverance. You're going to work hard for something to find a way to bring your plans to completion with the rekindled love for the journey and worrying less about the end result. Okay, yeah, so you're stepping into the unknown. You're working hard on something, but you don't know what's coming. But I feel like it's going to be good, okay? Because then we have the Empress. It says you're transforming into the Empress. You will feel more confident looking better and realizing your own worth and standing up for what you deserve. No more settling for less. This is a Taurus card and Libra. You could be dealing with the Taurus or Libra or have this in your chart. Or like I said, you could be on the Gemini Taurus cusp. I mean, the Taurus Gemini cusp. So let's see what's going on for that first week. Let's clarify those. Okay, you guys are stepping into your power. I feel like you're in receiving mode. I feel like you've been giving a lot to people this year. So you could just be sitting back, relaxing, taking care of yourself, pampering yourself. Especially, you know, if you have kids, you take care you know you take good care of your kids okay and i feel like you're going to be receiving you're going to be in the energy of receiving right so spirit guides angels why is perseverance here for gemini for the first week please first week of january 2022 we have seven of swords okay then we have ten of cups i feel like i need to clarify this um Okay, so what I'm getting off this off bat is that you're going to be very strategic, okay? Um, very sneaky-like. But I feel like you're going to be more logical than anything with what you're doing. Your plans, you're going to be moving in silence. You're not really letting too many people know what you're doing because you're, you're planning, you're strategizing. You're not, you're moving in silence here. We're going to clarify this. Somebody, this could be somebody coming towards you sneakily, you know, coming towards you this way because they're strategizing on how to do it, maybe how to pop up or how to come back into your life. I don't know, but you know, you guys know the seven of swords could also mean lies, deception, or whatever. You know, I'm hearing it's none of your business, so maybe you are telling little white lies to people <laughs> and telling them like it's, it's, you know, you know, it's none of your business what I'm doing. Okay, this could be what's going to be happening in the month of January, but let's see. What is the Seven of Swords here for Perseverance for Gemini? What is the Seven of Swords, please, for Gemini? Yeah, Six of Pentacles in reverse. So, something here is unbalanced in this first week, okay? Somebody here is not reciprocating something. It, po it could have possibly been because this person is going to be sneaky, okay? Hmm. Somebody here could have stole some money from you or took whatever they, whatever you were giving this person, they took it and did something with it. They were being sneaky with it behind your back. For some of you, this could be this person doing like something with your money in regards to child support and shit, not doing what they need to do to take care of their kids or your baby mom, baby daddy, not doing the right thing. And I feel like you're trying to sneak away from whatever this is that's unbalanced. I really do. Let me get one more. What else for the seven of swords with the six of pentacles in reverse? for perseverance yeah eight of cups yeah five of pentacles it's like some something here is eating away at your money and i feel like you're trying to get away with uh you know well you could be trying to get away with something i don't know but i feel like somebody is trying to get away with something in regards to your money they're not giving to you they're breadcrumbing you some you just feel like something here is out of balance and it's because probably some somebody is sneaking here they're like 
with perseverance it's giving me like they're really trying to do something here to, to leave you out in the cold or this person has left you out in the cold or this is you leaving someone out in the cold it could be a taurus virgo or capricorn that you're leaving out because this is you i feel like this is you planning to get the fuck that's just what i feel like i i don't know gemini what is going on here it's like maybe you plan something you stop giving to a situation as well okay i feel like you know somebody was helping you or you were helping someone and they just I don't know you just see that this is out of balance here it's not helping your money it's not helping your finances grow okay it's really um i don't know i'm hearing an energy of something here is getting on your nerves so i feel like you don't want to be bothered with it anymore so you're planning to walk away you're like strategizing on how to get out of a situation somebody here is not sharing somebody doesn't like sharing somebody's greedy okay somebody could be scamming yeah, somebody could have scammed you too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So that kind of like threw me off. I feel like you're going to be walking away from this though. Whatever this is, yeah. The Eight of Cups and the Death, you're ending this shit forever. And the Ten of Swords and the Tower. What the, the hell is going on, Gemini? Yeah, you're planning to... Take back your power here. I feel like you're not giving to a situation. Yeah, it's going to fuck your money up a little bit. You're going to lose something. But I don't know. I'm also getting it. You know, this could be that perseverance energy. You're trying to plan to get out of a situation. That's one thing. The other thing is somebody here is in your energy that is trying to steal your money. They're scamming. They're doing something. They're like fraud, I'm hearing, or something. People are giving you things with like strings attached like they're giving you stuff but they always want something back in return or you know this is why this empress energy is here okay because you're learning how to receive maybe in the past people have given you things but it's like yeah i was just talking to a friend of mine the other day about this like i'm tired of people always giving me shit it's never from the kindness of their heart it's always they want something in return or they feel entitled to something so this is what this could be about like you know this person is giving you shit out of them feeling entitled entitled just period so i feel like you're abandoning this situation you're just not dealing with it you're trying to ghost it I, f I feel like you don't you don't have time you're persevering the perseverance is the persevering energy is you persevering the fuck up out of this energy <laughs> excuse me for the first week of um um january and really embracing the fact that you are the empress that you are the person that is you know you're supposed to receive now i feel like you are learning how to receive because i mean as an empress myself it's it took me a while to get here okay and i'm still learning because i still don't trust people so somebody really fucked your trust up with this energy this whoever this is and i feel like um you don't really care what the end result is you just know you need to get out of this situation yeah, because something here is not working for you for this first week. So I feel like you're 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 working hard to get out of this energy. I feel like you're putting your plan into action. Because I don't feel like you're giving to a situation anymore. You're leaving someone out in the cold. You're abandoning someone. So let's see. What is this Empress here for the first week of January? What is this Empress here for Gemini for the first week of January? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. So there could be a divine feminine here that you um really want to be with okay with this empress energy that is a divine feminine somebody that's very beautiful very graceful okay they sit on their throne very nicely they take care of their kids their mother first okay before anything um they're very compassionate very giving very loyal dedicated all the good things right um all 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 of the queens that is in the tarot deck so i feel like you do want a family with this person or for some of you this is about your baby mother okay you have a family with this person already you're trying to get away from her ass or his ass whatever but i do feel like you you're gonna feel more at peace with the fact that you are transforming into the empress and you are whatever this escape plan is is going to work because it's going to help you move forward i feel like this is something that you're supposed to be doing i don't feel like this is the energy for you this is you i don't feel like it's the energy of you doing anything bad i feel like it's you being more strategic than anything because you're tired of giving to a situation where this person always feels entitled they don't want to give you shit back things are imbalanced and you're just tired of dealing with it so i just feel like you're leaving it for some of you that's a story for somebody i don't know take it how it resonates but yeah with the ten of cups i feel like maybe you're going to be starting a family 
or you're just going to feel more at peace. You're going to feel more joyful, more happy, okay, with the person that maybe you're going towards. Okay, you're going to be feeling a lot better once you leave this this week. I mean, um, for the first week of January. What else for the Empress with the Ten of Cups for Gemini? Yeah, the Fool, and then we have the Five of Swords. And then we have the Magician. So this is somebody that you want to take a leap of faith towards. So I feel like, you know, there's somebody coming towards you, Gemini. It could be Aquarius or Aries coming towards you. There's a new beginning coming or somebody here wants to take a leap of faith with you. I just feel like, you know, somebody could have also foolishly got into a connection here with someone that they, this person is a, I don't know, they, they, they're a scammer, they're a thief, you know, they're, I don't know. You know, personally, I don't feel like scamming is bad when you're scamming the government. <laughs> okay, hopefully I don't, you know, get flagged for that. But I'm just saying, you know, because government's a piece of shit. But when you're scamming other people and you're hurting other people, you know, that you see struggling on the street every day, that's different. That's a different type of scamming. But the government is one thing. Those, those homeless people and things like that are another. But anyway, that's another conversation. <laughs> anyway, so the fool with the five of swords. Um, it looks like there's a new beginning coming, okay? So with someone that makes you very, very happy. I feel like, you know, there's something here that could have gotten in between you and this person. Or you are meeting this person. Somebody that's going to make you happy once you take this leap of faith towards this person, right? Um, but for some of you, you guys already know this person, you're persevering and getting away from something to come towards this person. And I just feel like, you know, there's some shit going on. There's some manipulation. There's some mind games here. Okay. Somebody is trying to trick you out of your spot with this person, maybe, or just trying to play games. Somebody is sabotage, trying to sabotage something, or this could be this person sabotaging, but let's see. Wow. Gemini. What is this? Five of swords for Gemini. What is this? Five of swords, four swords, could be an air sign, strong Aquarius. So, yeah, you could be healing from whatever this is. Oh, this is you, Gemini, damn. <laughs> and the four of swords is you, too. So you're definitely healing from whatever this is. I feel like you're trying to win somebody back. Somebody is trying to win you back or you're trying to win somebody back at all costs. You don't give a fuck. You're fighting for this person. I feel like there's conflict between you and them. But the five of swords could also mean that you just want to chill. Like you want to put your the swords down. You don't want to fight. You feel defeated in the situation. This is what this four of swords like. Somebody here tried to sabotage something or somebody was self-sabotaging and they just feel tired and they feel beat up. They feel defeated. It's like you can't ignore the fact that somebody is your ten of cups. That's what I'm seeing. Right. Somebody is your happiness. There could be somebody trying to hurt this empress person, like maybe somebody trying to bully or I don't know. There's been a lack of communication here. So things are silent with you and then where things have been silent. But I feel like it's due to somebody's self-sabotaging ways. So now somebody is ready to take a leap of faith towards you. This person here, I don't know. They could still be trying to sabotage or whatever. So just take heed to that because it's showing up here in the reading. Thinking of ways to kind of like do something. Somebody, this four of swords and a five of swords could be them healing from this and just, just you know... I don't know. Somebody here feels like they need to stand up for themselves, too. It can go a whole bunch of ways, guys. I'm picking up a lot of messages, so just take it how it resonates. But uh, somebody could be healing from some type of conflict or something. Somebody here could be violent or, or like a bully or very foolish. So just watch out for that this first week. I don't know. You might have to deal with some bullshit. Okay, because this empress could definitely be a baby mama, a family situation or something that you're dealing with. And you're just like, oh, I'm just so tired of dealing. So with the five of swords, I'm getting choose your battles wisely. Okay, you know, because the five of swords can be good when you're standing up for yourself, you know, um, choosing your battles. Stop sabotaging shit. Okay, I don't know if it's you or whatever, but just watch out for the energy for the first week. So let's see. For the second week, we have patience. It says you've put in the work and now you are waiting to reap the benefits. Keep believing that your season is coming. The good you put out in your life will manifest. There is no need to rush it. 
All right, and then we have gateway. A flood of opportunities are coming your way, giving you many choices to venture on a new path. Listen to your inner voice and let your soul make your decision. Expect to be busy. This is the Empress card again. Well, 21. Somebody here could be 21, okay? But there's three. Then we have three. Oh, with the Empress card. The Empress card is number three, but this is 53 on here. Okay, but whatever. Y'all get where I'm, where I'm going. So let's see. What is patience about for Gemini? What is patience about for Gemini for the second week of January 2022? We have Knight of Cups. Yeah, you. if you've been waiting for love to come in, I see a love offer coming in. Somebody coming towards you to bring you a cup of love. Okay, this could be somebody that you already started something with for some of you. For others of you, it could be a new love offer somebody coming to take you out maybe express your you know express their emotions towards you um but i just see love coming if you've been waiting for that it is coming in i see a date somebody wanted to take you out on a date here court you wine and dine you do something nice a romantic proposal okay somebody that's very caring and sensitive this person could be very psychic but somebody just wants to come in and sweep you off your feet, it looks like. I feel like they're very pure when they're on this white horse. I don't know, but I see gray too. So this could be somebody that caused you a bit of confusion in the past, but now they're coming back to offer you something here. Okay. Yeah. What is this um gateway for Gemini for the second week? We have the star, beautiful. It could be an Aquarius, strong Aquarius here, your fellow earth sign. I mean, fellow air sign. So some of you guys could be in the spotlight here. These opportunities that are coming to you with this gateway card, it says a lot of opportunities are coming your way. I feel like it's going to put you in the spotlight. I feel like this is destined for you. It's written in the stars, whatever this is. I see healing. I see growth. I see prosperity here with the star card. I feel like, you know, Something here is your path. You're on the path to stardom. Some of you guys could actually be famous. Some of you guys are meant to be famous. And I feel like um, you're very much healing. I feel like you took the time to heal yourself. And I see something here that's happening. That's really, really nice. <clears throat> some of you guys are very... Um, some of you guys show a lot of skin, too. You, you know, I feel like that's very sexy. I mean... <laughs> He, you know, I'm not going to go into that. But yeah, I mean, you guys are very comfortable with your skin. You're very well balanced or you're getting to be, you're, you're becoming very balanced. And this is bringing in new opportunities for you because some of you guys could possibly be healers as well. You heal others. I see with this bird flying, it looks like a stork. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But I don't know. This could be some news coming in too about something here. These opportunities that are coming, you're going to be receiving news from it. And I feel like it's part of what you're supposed to be doing. So this is, I mean, this looks like a good second week here. Whatever you've been waiting for is going to be coming in. So let's see. For the third week, we have romance for um, the third week of January. It says love is yours to take. This The person on your mind is going to make a romantic gesture and hopes to rekindle the love in your connection. Yeah, this is somebody from your past, I feel, for a lot of you. Then we have inner child. You're ready to bring that inner child spirit out and open yourself up to new adventures. You'll realize that you don't have to take life so seriously. There's still plenty of fun to be had. Then we have courtship. Your love life will begin to blossom by taking those first steps towards intimacy and allowing your connection to gradually develop into something steady and consistent without rushing into love. Yeah, so this person, whoever this is, is coming into wine and dying you, I swear. They want to heal the connection with you with the star card. You're going to have the opportunity to heal the connection with this person. Um, yeah, and I feel like this person makes you feel good. Like they bring out your inner child. You guys do fun shit together. I see a lot of laughing, playing, a lot of fun times. Okay. And yeah, maybe you guys are going to go out on some fun dates and do things that you like to do. I feel like they bring the kid out in you in a good way. This is nice shit. Okay. Well, <laughs> why is romance here for the third week of January? Why is romance here? We have five of wands. Huh? This person here is, I feel like they're fighting for you. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know why. Uh, I also feel like they have been fighting people off they're trying to they know that they have to fight off competition because you have a lot of suitors i mean you guys i feel like for a lot of you you are in the public eye of some sort some of you guys could be speakers 
something you do with your, your throat chakra communication. Okay. But um, the five of wands, maybe this person here from your past put you in a lot of um, competition here. They made you fight over them or whatever. Or this person here, um, there could have been a third party or something like that. I just feel a sense of this person defending your connection. What else, what else for romance, spirit, for Gemini, for the third week? Yeah, the world card. So something here had to come to a close for this person to come in. Yeah, the ten of swords flipped over. So something here, somebody here definitely got hurt or backstabbed or betrayed. I feel like it's somebody's baby mama, baby daddy trying to do something stupid. So for the third week, I see there's a new beautiful cycle coming in. I feel like you can, there, uh, there was a completion to a cycle. There's going to be a completion to a cycle come the third week. And somebody here is not going to like it. Okay, because you're moving on towards new love where there's love offers coming in and somebody here is trying to get in the way. But I feel like this is closing out because something is completed is done. It can't be reopened. The world is a major arcana. So you successfully completed something and now you're going to be rewarded with this romance, with this love offer here that's coming in. Whoever this is that's on your mind that makes you feel good, not make you feel like terrible. Okay, that's not them talking about a good romance okay i don't know nobody's perfect so just you know whatever but could be a taurus leo scorpio aquarius but yeah so let's see why is inner child here for the third week for gemini why is inner child here seven of cups and the ace of cups in reverse yeah <sighs> This has been put on hold for a long time, I feel like. With the Ace of Cups in reverse, I just feel like um, a long wait for this love offer to come in or it's been on pause for a very long time. Um, for a lot of you, you've been very disappointed with whatever this is, with all these new love options that is coming in. You've been very sad because people it could be people here that you've met that like to have options or keep options around and it just made you feel like you weren't good enough which had to which bring you back to like this inner child healing it could possibly be you've been healing your inner child okay you've been feeling abandoned neglected could possibly be i also feel like this is somebody here that has or this could be you you know this could be you or them but somebody here is like repressed emotions but they can't find nobody to make them feel like you. That's just period. So somebody has been hiding their feelings or somebody calls something off. Somebody calls something off here. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting like past energy of that. Yeah. Somebody here got broken up with or something with the Ace of Cups in reverse and Seven of Cups here. Um... Hmm, let me see. Why is this Ace of Cups here in reverse for Gemini? Why is this Ace of Cups in reverse? Two of Wands. Yeah, someone had to make a choice. And I feel like somebody's choice is to cut something off to come towards you. Because they have more fun with you. I feel like they've been holding back for a very long time. This person could live at a distance from you, but I just see that this somebody here is planning something. I feel like somebody definitely has planned to leave something. Somebody fell out of love with someone. Okay, somebody maybe could have called off like a, uh, some type of events. Could have called off, I don't know. With the Ace of Cups in reverse, that does mean somebody could have called off like, um, I'm hearing like marriage or something. <laughs> okay that's fucked up but i mean somebody was getting on somebody's fucking nerves so whatever but yeah i just feel like somebody knows that you're their match and they're trying to make plans to come towards you because they left something this person you make this person feel good like somebody here's ready to have fun they don't want to sit in this confusion i want to clarify this too What is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups for Gemini here? The Magician. Okay. This is, you know, for Gemini, I've been here seeing magic for a lot of you. Okay. With this Magician and the Seven of Cups. 
Yeah, page of cups. I mean, page of wands, nine of cups, and the ten of swords with the four of wands. Somebody could be doing some type of spell work here on the third week of January to try to get you back here. Um, get you, I say get you back here. Get you back in, okay, to call you back in towards them with the seven of cups and the magician. Somebody could be trying to manipulate you. But I feel like you're standing in your power, okay, and you're dumping whoever the fuck this is. You don't want to be bothered. This is what the fight is about, but the cycle is closing out. So they're going to be fighting with themselves because you're going to be making future plans elsewhere. You're turning your back on whatever this is. You're going towards someone that makes you feel good, that makes you feel happy. You like to laugh. You like to have fun with this person. That's where this inner child shit is coming from, okay? You're ready for a new adventure. You're ready for a new spark. You don't want to deal with whoever this is. So I feel like, you know, you're going to be leaving this. I feel like if you guys have been saying 222, two, two, that means something as well, okay? It does talk about union, partnership, balance, okay, duality, you know. So, I, I you know, I, 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 don't, I don't know. This is not working for you. I feel like this person could be trying to be do uh whoever this is that's fighting with you in this third week could be trying to do magic but i feel like this is you standing in your power as well you're still looking out towards something new you don't want to be bothered with whoever this is this person could even be trying to use the kids to hold you back and it's like get the fuck okay get the get the hell on about your business i'm still going to court my girl i'm still going to court the person that i want to be with so go ahead go ahead on do what you're going to do leave me the fuck alone yeah, this person is trying to keep you confused, keep you stuck, okay? Um, this could also mean fantasizing. Somebody here could be fantasizing about you or trying to get into your dream space for whatever the fuck reason, right? Like, they, they want you to be confused here, so don't, you know, Jesus. Anyways, what is courtship here for Gemini for the third week? What is courtship here? So we have judgment in reverse with the eight of swords in reverse. So yeah, I feel like I feel like ultimately you're going to be forgiving this person because there's no going back with the judgment. Is there's no renewal of no past situation? I feel like you need to practice forgiveness. Okay, For, really forgive this person because this is in reverse. I feel like this person has caused you a lot of injust, and you don't want to be bothered. Okay, you just you just don't. <laughs> you don't want to be bothered with the judgment somebody here is getting bad karma there's bad karma it's bad luck in a situation but you're becoming unstuck this is you unstuck you don't feel trapped you don't feel powerless you feel like you can do whatever you want with this courtship card it does talk about love and romance and intimacy so you're going to be courting someone somebody's coming in to court you The judgment in reverse could mean um, somebody talking about someone. This could mean malicious gossip to this person. Whoever this is that's mad could be talking about your person or talking about you, for that matter, in the third week. Whoever you're planning to take out. But they're getting karma. Somebody here is not willing to learn whatever karmic lesson this was. Could be a Libra with this air sign energy as well. But yeah, somebody has not learned something and it's not going to. So just be careful that whoever this is that's trying to court you they haven't learned their lesson but i feel like this is you becoming unstuck so i feel like there's an energy here of you wanting to court someone and take them out that is your person that's who you want to be with so i'm feeling third party so whoever this is that you're fighting with they haven't learned their lesson they're trying to reel you back in but you've been disappointed by this person multiple times they trigger you they trigger trigger something about your inner child too they trigger something within you that you don't like they keep you confused they have options possibly they want you to be in this player energy or something. They don't want you to like be committed to who you want to be with. But I see you coming out of this shit. You're not dealing with that. Somebody could be getting released from jail as well. But yeah, somebody doesn't know who they are as a person. The judgment could mean lack of uh, self-awareness and shit. Somebody doesn't know who they are or what they want. So it's time for you to leave that. So let's see, for the fourth week, we have recognition. The spotlight is on you. Not only will you accomplish your goals and come out on top, but others will also recognize your success. You fought a good fight. Yeah, we have the world here, which is completion. Yeah, then we have completion here. 
I don't know why the fuck I said that. Why am I talking about completion? And I just read recognition. I don't know. So yeah, this is just, I guess, I don't know. I'm just getting that something here is just definitely closing out and you're going to be rewarded. So then we have completion. <laughs> You'll reach some kind of completion or you're very close, leaving you feeling accomplished and happy. A new chapter will emerge and you'll once again start the next challenge. Yeah, you're, you're done with this. You're getting, So that's what I'm saying. Recognition and completion tie, you know, tie into this world card. That's why I'm getting that energy. So let, let's see. What is recognition here for Gemini? Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yeah, for a lot of you, you're getting a victory in court. Because I feel like this is could possibly be a court case. Somebody here, I don't know, something about courts. You could be taking Okay, Gemini, so the camera has shut off. So I had to take a mini pause <laughs> and get my phone situated because there was um, too much stuff on my phone. I had to kind of like clear it out, maybe send some of those other videos that I did for the other readings over to my email and shit. So it was a process. But anyways so i started um i was talking about like some child support shit i believe but the ace of swords came out for recognition for week four in uh january 2022 so with the ace of swords yeah i feel like this is you being in the spotlight i feel like something here is going to be victorious um you're going to be standing in your truth here this is what i got you're going to be recognized for standing in your truth speaking up maybe there's something here that you that you are going to be <laughs> speaking the truth about in um the fourth week of january okay and the spotlight is going to be on you so maybe this is something big this is going to be like a breakthrough in communication okay somebody here could be coming to communicate to you or this is you um what did i call did i call you cancer I hope I didn't call you cancer. Hopefully I called you Gemini. <laughs> I hope I haven't been saying cancer, but whatever. My, you know, my apologies if I've been saying um, cancer, but Gemini, this is for you. <laughs> this Ace of Swords is your card. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you're going to be recognized for standing in your truth, standing in your power, being honest, being brave, being bold. Okay. Um, and yeah, this is what's going to have you in the spotlight here. This is going to help you accomplish what you need to accomplish by maybe I'm hearing like setting boundaries or saying something that you need to say. All right. It's going to help you gain rec uh, gain recognition. All right. So let's keep going. Let's see why completion is here. Why is completion here for Gemini? Spirit, why is completion here for Gemini for the fourth week of January? Why is completion here? What is Gemini completing in the fourth week? Oh, okay. So we have Queen of Wands in reverse with the Six of Wands. Yeah. I feel like the completion is you leaving this person behind. <laughs> this fire sign is Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, with the sun at the bottom of the deck. Could be a Leo that you're leaving behind, that you're really guarded against in the fourth week. I feel like you're going to be, you could possibly be standing up for yourself against this person and leaving them. This is going to be very much victorious for you because I feel like you're going to ride off and be happy as fuck. Like, <laughs> you're going to be done with this person because this Queen of Wands in reverse is a bitch. This person is very, you know, very insecure. They have very low self-esteem. Um, this person, you could have been with this person. They could have been cheating on you. They could have been very promiscuous. This is the person that could have been doing the magic. The Queen of Wands in Reverse does black magic. So this is somebody that could have been really, really trying to keep you stuck in a situation. Okay, very sneaky person. Very reckless too. So, <clears throat> yeah. A new chapter will emerge once you close this cycle out with this person. I feel like this is what this is. You're getting a victory over this person. You're, you're getting the fuck on. That's just period. Okay. Yeah, so this looks good. I mean, you're leaving this person behind, I feel. This person thought that they possibly won something with you, but it's you that's going to take the victory here. This person is very egotistical and very immature. Yeah, with the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this, clean this up here. And let's pull some for your career and finances for the first, second, third, and fourth week of January 2022. Okay. Let's clean this up. Let's clean this up. 
All right, so let's see. Okay, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for the first week of January 2022, which is going to be happening for Gemini's career and finances. What do you need them to know? What is important for Gemini to know for January 2022? Uh, the first week of January 2022. First week of January 2022 for Gemini. What do you need them to know in regards to their career and finances? For the first week, let's get the first week out the way. Okay. For the first week, spirit. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's do the second week. What do you want Gemini to know in regards to their finances for the second week of January 2022? Okay. What about for the third week spirit for Gemini in January 2022? What do you want them to know for the third week? Okay. Yeah, something definitely is going on in court for a lot of you. Um, what do you want uh, Gemini to know for their fourth week for January 2022, please? All right. Bottom of the deck, we have say yes to the things you think you can't do. Okay, period. Believe in yourself. So the first week we have gift. It says someone might give you a gift, lend you money or help you in some way. You could get a cash bonus at work. You have natural talents, gifts and abilities just waiting to be discovered. Explore them. OK, that looks nice. So the second week we have legal. You might have to take care of some legal matters related to financial issues. You could receive money from some kind of legal matter. This is a good time to handle any legal matters involving money. Okay, then we have for the third week, you have money manager. This could indicate your, your career or finances could take a giant leap forward. Consider careers in money management, banking, accounting, or anything in finance. You can expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances. Beautiful. Then we have justice. Something in your life needs to be brought into alignment in your... Something, yeah, what? Something in your life needs to be brought into alignment in your life. Okay, they just said in your life too much. That's all. <laughs> then we have um, your career may be in law, such as police, military, and courts, or the criminal justice. And then it says, be sure to be honest and ethical in money matters or you'll face the consequences. Okay, then we have uh, for the fourth week is charity. See where you can give more of yourself to helping others and make a difference. Humanitarian work, human rights, justice, or advocacy work could be for you. Donating can create positive energy around you and attract more abundance. Then we have teacher. You have the ability to motivate others to strive to uncover their true potential. Consider careers in teaching, coaching, mentorship, or being a motivational speaker. You've learned much about money. This is a time to put into practice. Okay, this is time to put it into practice. Okay, so that's that. So let's get um, one of these cards. Let's get one card for January 2022 for you. Spirit guys, angels for Gemini. In regards to um, their January 2022, one card for Gemini for January 2022. It feels weird saying that. <laughs> okay, one card, Spirit, for Gemini, January 2022. So we have death rights, saying goodbye, formal occasion, honoring lives. And then we have ecstasy, yielding, rapture, bliss. Yeah. So I feel like whatever this, whatever this is, that's ending is going to help you really feel on top of the world. Okay. Like you're going to feel really, really good. Yeah. Some of you guys, yeah, this, this, you know, this definitely means something is ending. For some of you guys, it could actually be... Who did I say this was for? Who got this? Somebody else had this too that I did. I forgot. Let me see what other signs I did already. Before you guys. Yeah, I did Cancer. So I think it was Cancer that had this. I'm not sure if you're dealing with the Cancer. Um, but yeah, something here is ending. And it's going to help you move forward. That's what I feel. It's for your highest good. 
um let's pull this let's get some of these cards spirit guides angels ancestors for gemini what do they need to hear for their first week <clears throat> in january 2022 what do they need to hear for their first week of january 2022 for gemini what does gemini need to hear first week So we have clear your energy, refuel your energy, and reclaim your power. Okay, that's for your first week. What does Gemini need to hear for their second week? Okay, so we have create a routine. Having a routine helps you limit procrastination and gives you structure. Then we have love your single life. Your singleness is an opportunity to spend quality time with yourself. Okay, what does Gemini need to hear for their third week? Third week for Gemini, please. Okay, so we have root chakra. Root chakra is out of balance. Okay, look at some things to get your root chakra in balance. What do you need to do? This is all about your safety, security. Um, this could talk about family as well, your home life. So you could be feeling a bit unstable in the third week. Okay, so just look up some stuff and see how to balance it. Then we have the colors you wear. Use color magic by wearing colors that attract the things you want. Okay, so if you want money, wear green. If you want to talk, you want to communicate, wear blue. That stands for your throat chakra. Okay, green stands for your heart chakra as well. As well. So if you need help opening up or letting love in or giving love, then work with your heart chakra. Wear those colors, right? Yeah, so it says um, get a massage. You deserve to be pampered. Make your appointment this week. Okay, so on the third week of January, make an appointment to get a massage. Maybe go do a little retail therapy. I don't know, though. I don't know because I don't know. I don't know how your money's going to be looking <laughs> for the third week. So that's up to you guys. But, yeah, that's just what I'm hearing for a lot of you. So let's see. For the fourth week in uh, January 2022 for Gemini fourth week what do they need to hear for the fourth week okay it says home needs tlc give your home some attention redecorate clean it or sage it i see sage here two times so maybe you guys need to really sage and smudge okay do a deep cleanse of your home and yourself and your energy set relationship goals recognize what makes you happy and strive to find that in your love life okay that goes with this for the fourth week so yeah, so let's pull an angel answer and then we're going to close out for January 2022 spirit for Gemini. <clears throat> January 2022 for Gemini, please. Okay, January 2022 for Gemini. We have big happy changes. Beautiful. Okay. Bottom of the deck is peaceful resolution. Lovely. And then under there we have abundance. Beautiful. So yes, things are happening in your life. Things are changing, Gemini. So your January looks like it's going to be really, really nice. Okay. So you're getting rid of the whoever this person was in reverse. And you're moving on. Okay. Love to see it. <laughs> so this was your reading, guys. I hope it resonated. If it did, um, let me know, I guess, next month. <laughs> Or just let me know if some of the things that I'm saying is resonating right now. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.